So I was in Walmart the other day and I noticed I had some cheap bits for sale. So for example, here's a 10 piece set of your most essential commonly used bits. Here's what's included in the set and this sells for less than two bucks, like a dollar eighty. There's also this security bit set. Here you can see what's included. Um, 28 pieces security Torx, Hex, um, Square, basically all your essentials and this sells for five and a half bucks. And then there's these. This is a set of drill bits and your common driver bits. Here's what's included in the set. And this sells for somewhere between seven and eight bucks, like 780, something like that. And here's another example. This one also sells for around seven and a half bucks. Uh, I actually got this on sale for like five and a half dollars. Here's what's included in this set. And this is what it looks like inside. It has a wide assortment of bits, including nut drivers and long bits. And what caught my interest is that these boxes, the cases themselves, look identical. So you should be able to take these bit rails and combine them between boxes and actually within the same box they have multiple points where you can put these. So what I want to do really is to combine these two uh, bit sets into one case because I already have a set of drill bits and I already have a uh, pretty large set of regular driver bits. But for the smaller jobs, I don't want to have to carry two different cases of drill and driver bits. And I also got myself this set of nut drivers on Amazon, Nico brand. This was like eight or nine bucks, uh, pretty cheap. They're magnetic, so they're convenient to use. We got sizes from a quarter of an inch to one and a half. So I'm actually going to try and combine these three bit sets into one case. So this is basically what I got. We have the drill bits on this side from 1 16th to 5 16th. We have the magnetic knot drivers up top. We also have the bit holder up on top. Here we have the short bits, uh, the small and medium flat, the square 1, 2, 3, Phillips 1, 2, and 3. We have the hex from the smaller to the medium. We have the Torx from T10 to T27. And then on the bottom, I put myself just in case I need some of the other ones like T30, quarter inch hex. There's a short quarter inch flat. And then I got two long ones here, a number two Phillips and a quarter inch flat in two inches long. And it all closes together and holds securely. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. And I think for the money, the fact that you can get uh, you know, some cheap bit cases with bits that you can customize according to however you need. I think that's a pretty cool idea.